So, general. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Tower. You know what's interesting is that the general and the overall outcome feel a bit more romantic than the love portion. So, <laughs> just saying. Anyway, um, now these aren't my most romantic cards, but this feels like fleeing energy. There could be some sort of, you know, explosion of passion coming up this month, or at least by the end of this month with the Knight of Wands. This could be a partner in crime that you might be engaging in some sort of affair with. And I don't mean necessarily actually having an affair if you're married, for instance, or in a relationship. Um, but again, just having some risky behavior and um, having fun with it. I'm seeing the tower as fun and engaging in this instance, and I'm seeing it as an overwhelming sense of passion. Now we'll see what the clarifiers say, if it just throws you know my vibes out the window, but that is what I get with just these three. As I said, this could be the person that is of interest to you, the queen of pentacles, or this can be your energy. Maybe you're feeling confident, sexy, grounded. You're focused on your physical physicality. That is a big thing for you this month. And again, for some, this could be sexting. This could be, again, running into some sort of lover. Or I just get a lot of passion with the Knight of Wands and a tower. Like someone kind of rocking your world a bit. <laughs> so we'll see. Or you'll see. Anyway. For the love, this is where love wants to talk about work and money. We've got Eight of Pentacles, Justice, Two of Pentacles. We have Justice surrounded by money cards. Now, this could be work. This could be that, for the most part, when it comes to like love and relationships, you're not truly focused on building anything serious with anyone. Um, maybe you are focused on you know, your career, your money, and all that. Now, what's funny is that, as I said, maybe you're not focused on building anything serious. The cards are like, wait a minute, it's the Eight of Pentacles, the card of building and making and uh, working on your crafts. No, this is a card of hard effort. So I can say that for some, in terms of love, if you're in a relationship, it might be a bit of effort for the bulk of the month, or you might find yourself putting a lot of time and effort into your relationship. And maybe some of you are working towards a big decision that has to be made. If that's the case, I don't think you've made it by the end of December. With the energy of the Two of Pentacles, this is a wishy-washy, ah, uh, maybe, maybe not. You know, what do I do? That's the energy of the two. I still will say that other than that, it could be that the financial aspect the work aspect is dominant for the majority of the month. And there might not be a substantial amount of time to really focus on relationships. Uh, although that deck does see this little passionate thing that can come out of nowhere, but it could be that for the bulk of the month, um, love is not the complete focus or just the romantic side of it anyway. There could be some decisions that need to be made when it comes to money and that could involve a partner. For others that are single, it could be that your efforts, you know, you're kind of juggling whether or not it's worth to put more effort into searching for someone. Maybe let's uh, see if anyone just kind of happens to come by when you're walking down the street or when you're doing something that you like to do. Maybe you just leave it up to chance in this instance. That could be what you're feeling. Overall outcome, we have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Ace of Cups is a new emotional beginning. It's an emotional card. I feel like on some level, someone might be coming after you with the Knight of Swords, and this could be a romantic interest. For others, you might find yourself being emotional with the Ace of Cups and dealing with someone who is a bit... <sighs> Excuse me. Who is a bit harsh with their words. Or maybe there's just kind of always ready to go. You almost have to put a lot of energy to keep up with him. Knight of Swords is fast moving. He's like, he has an idea. He has thoughts. He's got to say it. He's got to keep going, moving forward. No time to stop. Maybe this person's actions are taking a little bit of a toll on you, making you emotional. For the most part, I do think this is a romantic interest. Um, who is chasing after you and might be doing 
doing so in an aggressive way. They could be communicating with you, trying to reach out to you, um, and that's pretty much, honestly, uh, the majority of what I get. They're trying to wear you down in some way. All right, so let's get one for that tower, all right? What is the tower? What does that lead to exactly? Be good. Yes, all right. Nine of cups. So this energy, this boom, you know, explosion of passion, so we hope, will leave you feeling very fulfilled, very content with the nine of cups. It's something you definitely want, and it could happen very suddenly. That's pretty much what I'm going to say there. Queen of Pentacles. The star. I really think that on some level you might be focused on your looks, which I don't see as a bad thing at all. You just might be focusing on the physical, wanting to improve yourself, and I feel like you're being very hopeful. I think for the majority, the Queen of Pentacles might be you uh, taking on this again, this feeling sexy, confident energy, um, and being extremely positive and hopeful. For others, this is definitely an interest of yours, and it could be that this person is, you know, the female of your dreams, for instance, or the male of your dreams, and that is the vibe I'm getting there. Someone that you've had your eye on for some time, and here they are coming at you with passion. <laughs> so let's, what was that? Six of Swords. Some of you could be traveling with a partner or considering, you know, going out of your way to see someone who is a romantic partner. Maybe that's part of the effort that is involved with the relationship or the main interest. And this card really wants to come out. So, Three of Pentacles again. There's a lot of Pentacles cards. So, perhaps if you haven't met someone, there's a chance that this person is, that there might be an interest that comes in through work. Or while you're doing something that you are engaged in and really like to do. Um, that is what I definitely see there. This wasn't actually meant for any of the cards, but it's just an extra. So you could meet them while you're working on something. On a team that you're a part of or you're put into at work. And for others, as I said, there's a lot of financial stuff that needs to be uh, resolved or decided on with you and a partner if you're already in a relationship and maybe it's involves a trip maybe in that trip is when that passion will happen for those of you in a relationship anyway let me get an oracle card for you this is also for love Fondness. Tender, soft feelings exist between you. Gently honor the energy. So, if you're single, there's definite potential for an interest that you will like, that you, again, want to know more about and want to connect with further. And the feeling, I feel, will be mutual. If you're not in a relationship, then I feel like you and your partner are most likely getting away with the Six of Swords, getting to know each other further, and just being able to connect and have fun. That is the vibe I'm getting. All right, one more love. Let's see. Flirtatious. Uh, well, flirt. So again, there is this lighthearted energy that's happening. It does feel like this reading leans towards romance except for the love cards for the most part so there might be some heavy flirtation this month with a partner or an interest and again this could just be a a very fun engaging thing for you i do feel like the other person might be the initiator and uh might be aggressively chasing you down so if you like that sort of thing yay congratulations that's a lot of fun to be had let's get let's get one for this knight of swords Prince of Chalices, which should be the Page of Cups. So again, there's another emotional connection that's happening there, emotional messages. I definitely think this might be a romantic month for the majority of you. And there's um, the possibility of connecting with someone that can blossom into a new relationship if you're not already in one. 
if you're in one, then I think that it would be a bit of another level and just like reconnecting emotionally with someone and having a lot of fun together. Okay, so tower, drastic energy, right? Things are coming down, things are coming apart. Uh, but I don't think it's for the negative. I think that you're being that you're being left with a lot of choices. Like that's what happens. Something sort of blew up, is out, cats out of the bag sort of deal is what I'm getting. Um, and you're left with a lot of options though, whatever the situation might be. And you're looking up at this um, glass window <laughs> display case, I guess, with all these uh, choices. And you're like, which one do I make? Which one's gonna be tastier? Uh, I think you should potentially go for the snake, the this one right here. Anyway, um, a lot of options are remaining for you and um, this might have to do with money or a work opportunity. So for instance, if your company, not necessarily like owned by you or just a place that you work at, or if you even own a company that's gone belly up or something drastic happened, there was a shake up, restructuring still going on. Um, people are all over the place being moved around you could be left with a lot of options, uh, a lot of opportunities. Maybe there are new gaps to fill at your current company or in this particular instance, if for instance, you have like lost your job, it's as if you're, you're in a position where a lot of people, a lot of other um, companies want you and are attracted to what you bring because I feel like you have the choice to make in terms of where do I go? Which position do I take? And then it's only a matter of time before the page of cups, sorry, the page of pentacles presents itself, which is a financial opportunity and it looks good on your end. Not all towers are scary. All right. On the other side with the deck, we have the king of wands and the seven of pentacles. Overall, it seems like you are evaluating a situation that uh, deals with this fiery male here, the King of Wands. You're thinking whether or not it's worthwhile. Maybe you've put a lot of work into this person or even working with this person for some time. And things, they're bearing fruit because the pentacles are like halfway up or almost halfway up from the ground. Not quite, but you're still sort of like looking and staring and wondering how much longer before all the pentacles come up. You know, this is a very patient card, a card that requires a lot of patience, I should say. Uh, so I do think on some level you're thinking about, is it worth continuing? Is it worth putting more time and effort into this person, into the situation that you're engaged in with this person? Because things aren't quite manifesting to the uh, speed that you would like it to. It's just really taking its time. But I think you need to just think about it and see where things are going, or you just might spend a lot of time this week trying to see if you should choose a new direction, end the situation, maybe reevaluate how you and this person are working together or whatever plans you have. If it's a relationship, you're just evaluating how it's going, if it's if it's worth continuing to pursue, basically. All right, so what is the tower exactly? What's causing the tower? relationship. So either something's come up and shed light on the fact that there's a relationship that existed. Perhaps it was a secret. In other cases, um, a relationship that you're currently in or a partnership that you're currently in is on shaking ground, has um, blown up or being dismantled. And um, But again, as negative as that sounds when I said it, the result isn't negative. So whatever the situation is, something is coming to light, you know, the foundation of a relationship or partnership is essentially gone. And it's like time to start fresh. And as I said, everything is coming out. There are no secrets anymore when it comes to a partnership or relationship. And it's led you again to a place of confusion, sure, with the seven of uh, cups there. But again, only a matter of time before some sort of offer comes in that presents itself to you. So I'm not really feeling the tower as a negative, more as a surprise. Sure, it's a surprise, 
but it leads to something um, good for you. So that's nice to see. All right. We got more financial cards. We got the Knight of Pentacles. So this definitely can relate to work or money. And this uh, big opportunity is coming up as a result of some form of partnership um, basically crumbling down unexpectedly at the beginning of the week. And another financial card here, the Seven of Pentacles again. So maybe this was a long time coming. Maybe a lot of people actually saw it coming, but the fact that it happened as quickly as it did was still unexpected, even if it was anticipated for who knows how long. Because like, for instance, if there's like a, a manager who is a pain in the ass to work with and everyone's wondering, why isn't he fired? Why isn't she fired by now? Um, it could be all of a sudden, oh my God, that person's fired <laughs> on Monday and everyone's still taken by surprise because it's not a change that was really expected in that way regardless of whatever the situation might be for you you got financial opportunities that comes up as a result so what can you tell me about the king of wands this week eight of wands this is someone that you're doing a lot of communication with Maybe you're traveling with them as well, or they're traveling to see you. But there's definitely a lot of back and forth, and you do have a relationship with this person in terms of you and this person just talk a lot, I feel. Could definitely be a travel buddy. The Nine of a Cups is a clarifier for the Seven of Pentacles. So I think on some level, you're really assessing and thinking about whether or not your efforts are bearing fruit, as I've already said, and if you're going to essentially get what you want, and it's just a matter of time. Do you really want to wait? You're, I, th I think you're just thinking about, am I going to get the wish that I've always wanted? If I continue to wait, is it going to come up? And it's almost like you want to stare at it. Like you want to just stare at the clock. Like, all right, in a month, maybe it'll happen until your wish gets fulfilled so in this case you're watching the poor little pentacles as they grow up out of the ground uh, you might be losing your patience a bit this week as well that's um that tends to come with the seven of pentacles for me so uh it is what it is i don't have patience so i don't really have any recommendation for that <laughs> i don't like being patient either